I've talked a lot about uh, gun violence on this show in recent months. It's a problem that's gaining worldwide attention and prompted a report on the BBC Panorama show called America's Gun Addiction. Their investigation shows how shockingly easy it is to legally buy an assault weapon. No questions asked. And joining me now is BBC correspondent Hilary Anderson, who went undercover to buy an AR-15. Hilary, thank you for joining me. I watched the panorama report you did tonight with it was a really shock actually because i have known for a while that 40 percent of all gun trades in america are done without any form of background checks but to see the ease with which you went to a gun show and just bought a, a bushmaster ar-15 assault rifle the exact same weapon that adam lanza used at sandy hook was pretty disturbing let's take a look at uh, a clip from your investigation this private seller had an ar-15 for sale the type of weapon Adam Lanza used. This is a Bushmaster? He just wanted cash. No test, no questions asked. So, this is the gun I bought. It's an AR-15 semi-automatic weapon. I didn't have to fill out any paperwork at all to buy it. I don't have to license it now that I own it. That's how easy it is to buy and own a gun in Texas. Were you surprised, Hillary, at the ease with which you bought that rifle? Well, like you, I knew what the law was. I, I, I know about the gun show loophole. I know that you can go in and do this, but when you're actually in a gun show, um, you know, and you find that, that you want to buy an AR-15 and that all you have to do is literally hand over the cash, um, the guy didn't even ask for my driver's license. I, I showed it to him, but he wasn't interested. I asked for a receipt. He wasn't interested. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing just how easy it is um, because if I can buy a gun, you know, then you know, anybody can, like are I said. You, are you an American uh, citizen or resident? I am an American citizen and resident. But it wouldn't have made any difference, presumably. You could have been a British citizen and still done the same thing. Well, legally, you're supposed to be an American citizen. Um, legally, you're not supposed to be mentally ill. Legally, you're not supposed to be a criminal. But the fact is that in a gun show, there are, you know, if you're buying from a private dealer, which is very different than if you're buying from a licensed dealer, if you're buying from a private dealer, nobody asks any questions. So you can really do whatever you want. And there's no follow-up in Texas because you don't have to license the gun or register it after you buy it. You can just you know, go put it in, in your car and, and drive home with it and do what you want with it. Now, if you buy from a licensed dealer um, at a gun show or anywhere else, it's a completely different story. That's when you have to pass this instant background check. But we did a lot of work looking into the detail of what this background check entails for the documentary that I made um, and found out that, that we were focusing very much on the issue of um, mentally ill people in America and whether or not they can buy guns. So yes, they can easily buy them through private dealers because there are no checks at all. But can they pass the instant background check? Well, that's where it gets really interesting because uh, the one question on the instant background check form about mental illness basically says this. It says, if you've been adjudicated by a court of law or, an, or a commission or a board as mentally defective, they call it, or if you've been involuntarily committed to a psychiatric um, institution of some kind, you cannot legally pass that background check and buy a gun. But that leaves a glaring hole because... If you've been mentally ill for decades or spent mm. decades in a, you know, voluntarily putting yourself in a psychiatric unit, there's nothing to stop you from passing that background check. So either which way, it's easy to get a gun uh, if you're mentally ill or not. 